you doing everybody? It's Mr. Do The Math here. Today we're going to talk about one step equations, um, solving equations by multiplication or division. Alright? So um, yesterday um, when we were doing it, we said that uh, to solve an equation, to solve an equation basically what you're doing is you're trying to find the number that makes the equation true. Right? You're going to find the number or the variable, yeah, the number that makes the equation true, right? So makes the equation true, right? Um, and so uh, when you're doing inverse operations, in order to do that, we do inverse operations, right? Inverse operations cancel things out. Inverse operations, right? So um, yesterday we talked about uh, addition and subtraction, right? The inverse to addition is what? Subtraction. subtraction, right? The inverse to subtraction is addition. addition, right? These are the operations that we do to in order to solve, right? And so the same thing applies to multiplication. The inverse or the opposite of multiplication is what? Division. Right, division. Division is the opposite, right? And then the opposite of division is what? Multiplication. Multiplication, multiplication right? So, all right, so like to review, if we had x plus 5 equals 10, in order to solve for x, we have to do the inverse of addition, which would be what? Subtraction. 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 So you would, you would subtract 5 to both sides. You subtract to get this 5 to cancel out. 5 minus 5 is 0, right? So then you bring your x down. X is going to equal, remember y'all told me about y'all make a brick house, right? Brick wall. So, so that's the other thing. When you have a brick wall, in order to move your number across the equal sign, you have to do the inverse. That's what we're talking about, right? So the inverse is your subtraction. So you subtracted 5 from 10 and you got what? 5. 5. So X equals 5, right? The inverse operation to plusing was minusing, right? Y'all get with that so far? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so that's the same thing with multiplication. So make sure you have that in your box. The opposite of multiplication is division. The inverse of division is multiplication. Alright? So let's practice some. Let's do some. Alright, so here we go. Number one. Number one. Number one, 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 one. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, number one. We have 5x equals 15. Right? 5x is the same as 5 times x. So the inverse of 5 times x would be what? D divide. Divide, right? Divide by what? 5. 5. five because what you got to do is you got to get the variable by itself, right? In order to get the variable by itself, you got to get rid of this, this uh, coefficient. So you divide, right? So 5 divided by 5 is 1, so you got that x. And then 15 divided by 5 is? 3. 3. So, x equals 3. Now, to check it, to make sure you did it right, you just take this 3 and you substitute it back in. So, you got 5 times 3. 5 times 3 equals what? 15. 15. There you go. So, that's what you did. Okay? So, the whole object of solving equations is to, get, is to figure out what the variable is. The first thing you had to do, because this is a one-step equation, just one step to get your answer, you, uh, you get the variable by itself, right? To get the variable by a multiplication, by itself through multiplication, you divide, okay? Let's look at uh, this one. This next one. Example two uh, says, uh, let's do this one, all right, 6a equals negative 20. All right, 6a equals negative 20. Number one, get the variable alone, all right? 6a is 6 times a. So the opposite would be what, Anaya? What you The opposite oh. of 6 times a would be what? Division. Division of what? What do you divide? You divide by 6. Sydney, what do you divide? 6 divided by 6 and 6 divided by 20. Right, so you divide by 6 and then you divide this one as well. All right, so 6 divided by 6 is 1. So you have 1a. And then you got negative 20 divided by 6. Yes? No, I, I thought I was going to answer the question. Yeah, answer the question. A negative 3, but... Uh, it's 4. It's 4. It's 4. It's 4. It's 4. 
Is it four? It's yeah. negative. I think that's negative. Yeah, it's negative. Oh. I, I don't know. So this is oh, twenty. Yeah. It's negative three point three. Yeah. yeah. So so you would uh, you would get a fraction, right? right? You can divide both of these by what? Two. 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 Right. Oh, right. So that's gonna be what? That's a ten over. Ten over four or ten over two? Ten over. I don't know for sure. So that's that's three. Twenty yeah. divided by two, and then six divided by two. Three. Three. Ten over three. Right. Now. Um, if you use your calculator, you can press Don't the. Uh, simplify. Yeah, simplify. Press the uh, F, F to uh, to D button. All right, or the uh, or press this one, A B C. All right, give me give either me the simplify. Either, either, one? either one. Yeah, yeah. Tell me what you get. You gotta get two different answers. Negative three. Should I record everyone else or no? Negative three and one third. Negative three and one third. And what then did anybody get a fraction? Yeah. I mean a decimal. Oh. What'd you get? Negative 3.3. Negative 3.3. That's what I got. Three. Repeat. Good. <laughs> and you get that by pressing these buttons, right? Yep. Yeah. Right. This means this means fraction and decimal. Oh. Or this means to simplify the fraction. Okay? Everybody good with that? You getting this stuff right here? Me? Yeah. I'm a paper. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, so the answer is any one of these. Any one of these answers is the answer. You good with that? You understand? You yes, ma'am. Yes, you can put any one of these answers. All right. If you put all three, just that sounds great. I have no problem with that. All right. So let's look at another inverse. All right. So what if I have this seven equals a over five? A over five is division, right? So in order to get the uh, equation, to get the variable a by itself, you would have to do what? Multiply. Multiply. That's the opposite of division. So you would multiply five to both sides. You know what? Okay. Multiply five to both sides. Therefore, you have here five over five, which is one. So you have a equals five times seven, which is thirty-five. Thirty-five. A equals thirty-five. Okay. A equals 35. Again, the opposite of division is multiplication. And then you multiply to both sides. Okay? Let us look at this problem here. Ooh, yeah. All right? Let's see if this tricks you. Negative 2 plus y equals negative 8. Okay? What is the operation here? Um, what, are, what are we going to move? Number one, get the variable by itself. How will we get y by itself? Subtract, I mean, add, add two. two. Add, add two. two. To both sides. To both sides. Very good tonight. That's, That's a five. five. Two. Add two to both sides, right? So now, negative two plus two, zero, right? You don't have y equals negative eight plus two, which is what? Negative six. Different signs. Subtract. Keep the sign of the big number. Then you can get that. Cool. All right? So, again, um, one step equations by multiplication and division, what you want to do is you want to get the variable by itself, right? And you're doing that by inverse operation. So when you have a multiplication or a division equation like a over 5 equals 7, you got to do the inverse of division. Or if you have a, a 6 times a or 6a equals 20, you have to do the inverse of multiplication, which is division. Okay? We good with that? Yeah. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comment below. Mr. Do the math out. <laughs>